G'day mate, how you going? Welcome back to the Green and Gold Life. Where are we? Well, we're at my little brother's place, mate, eh? And we're gonna turn the front roller for that, uh, that Qualcast resto that we got going on. But uh, don't go anywhere, I've got something to show you. Alrighty, so it's getting a little bit bogged there in the tall grass, but that's okay. I found I could just sort of adjust my height a cup by just, you know, just picking it up a little bit and steady as she goes, but uh, yeah, it's working a treat. Alright, let's go in and uh, turn those rollers, eh? <laughs> Alrighty-o, so the man, the myth, the legend, my uh, little brother Pete, he's getting the lathe ready, just setting some lights up. So what we've done here to this, uh, this little bit of wood, is just knocked it down on the table saw, so we got it down to about 55 mil, uh, both sides, so it's nice and square, and then chopped up the ends so it's nice and square as well. And then, I uh, don't know if you can see that there, we've gone through and put in a, an X to try and find it uh, centricity. Now old mate's going to turn it in the lathe, so... Um, I'm no chippy mate, eh? I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to this gear. So I uh, just leave it to the professionals, eh? Right, let's turn this up. Nackers has got most of it turned up, here we go. So um, we've, we've struck a bit of a snag. So we've got to try and drill now a 12 mil uh, ID in that, but we've got to make sure she's square, you know what I mean? Or otherwise she will spin on the piss. So um, we've got it all turned up. We used a bit of sandpaper and it's come up a million bucks, mate. Eh? But as you can see, my Aroldite job here is a bit rough, mate. Eh? Have a look at that, oh boy. So um, what we're gonna do now is probably chop that off in the middle. You can see there, uh, chop that off and then um, yeah, work out a way to try and send a drill bit all the way through there nice and square so it sits square on the pin. Um, not sure how we're gonna do that. We've got a little drill press here, but again, it's about trying to get it square. So we might have to attack it from both ends, like measure up both ends, try and find dead center and then get it in from the middle. But we'll keep thinking on it. We'll keep um, scratching the noodle, but yeah. It does look a million bucks though, eh? Like, looks pretty good. <laughs> Rightio, so while the young brother's spinning up a dream in there, I might as well repay the favour. So let's have a look. Let's see what he's got going on down here. Oh boy, it's rough. So it's probably a mixture of buffalo and kaiku, yep, <laughs> and uh, three corner jacks. Yep, so lawn care does not run in the family. Let's have a look. Yeah, a bit of oxalis as well. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mongrel breed, but that's all right. We're going to give it a uh, quick haircut. This is probably the first mow I've done in about two months, two, three months. So it's killing me, mate. 
But yeah, let's kick this puppy in the guts and get it done. Alrighty, time for the midweek mo check-in, and I tell you what, she's pretty rough. Oh boy, let's have a look down here. Yeah, Scalp City. Yep, Scalp City. That's no good. That's alright. I don't think he minds too much, eh? <laughs> so uh, yeah, like I said, mixture of kikuyu and buffalo, and assorted weeds left and right. I don't think old mate's too fussed, but I do need to go again because we got a whole bunch of leftovers. So don't want to leave that on the on the deck especially through winter time because it's going to take forever to break down and all of that sort of stuff so we're going to go and pick that up and uh make sure it's all sweet i am very tempted to get out the uh the quoll cast and give that a hit but it's not going to stripe up eh? and we really need to pick up that snot so grandma's down there weeding the auxalis for pete so <laughs> yeah all right let's finish her off eh? So it's been a few days since we're at my brother's place and uh, I thought I'd bring you up to date with the roller. So I am fresh out of the gym from leg day, believe it or not. <laughs> so um, uh, essentially my brother didn't have enough room in his drill press to um, uh, to get like the chuck, the drill bit, a drill bit long enough to drill all of this and then sort of like his table and the clamp all together in one um, to do the job. So I took it into work that's got a, a, pedestal, um, a pedestal drill press. And uh, as you can see there, we've got it pretty square on this end, <laughs> where, the, where the lathe sort of was centred. But on this end, man, oh boy, I don't know how well you can see that, but yeah, it's definitely not in the middle, eh? So luckily we've got a few more to, to get it right, but um, essentially what I'll do is I'll probably take that to a, um, to a furniture manufacturer locally, or possibly a cabinet maker, someone that's got a lathe, uh, and someone that's going to be able to run that through nice and true. So... We've got a few more attempts, otherwise we might be going back to the old ratty rollers, man, eh? So, uh, we'll see how we go with that one. Uh, and I will be drilling the hole a little bit smaller, because essentially there's there's sort of too much play in this. I might shoot for maybe, say, 10 mil, because um, if we've got too much play in our front roller, what we can experience is sort of like a chattering uh, in, our, in our cut, and you'll notice like some waves and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I just want to tighten that up a little bit, because this was softwood, uh, it sort of, I think it just sort of bore it out a little bit, whereas this is going to be hardwood, so it's going to sort of um, hold up to that abuse a little bit more. What do we got here, eh? The lawn amateur sent through one of his stickers for the wall of legends here, so cheers to that, mate. I reckon we will put you... What do you reckon? We might go over this side somewhere next to Rusty, I reckon. Yeah, I mean, that's a good spot. Try and get it plumb for you, mate. Which way is plumb? I'm gonna take your, your garage roller door as plumb, all right? Here we go. Oh boy. Uh, fail. <laughs> right, so I'll leave a link to the Lawn Amateurs Instagram down below and you can go and check him out. All right, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. You guys do me a wicked man favor and take it easy. I'll chat you on.